Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We took all this lovely land. Uh, we also settled uh, some rebellions and stuff like that, and things are going generally well. We're, of course, waiting for the King of Sweden to stop being a dick and end all his wars so that we can make a kingdom here and deal with our, our bullshit that's going on. Um, so I should say that this is a re-record. I think I may have mentioned that a second ago. And the reason it's a re-record is because I recorded this episode. It was fantastic. I invaded Sicily, which is I'm gonna, what I'm going to do anyway. Um, and then I immediately ended the episode. And if you don't know this, I record my audio and my video separately. And then I sync them after the fact. I got the audio and I just deleted it. And I was like, and as soon as I did it, I just like hit myself in the head. And I was like, why did you do that, brain? What was What's wrong with you? So anyway, that was dumb. I'm an idiot. Now let's get back to playing the game. I am going to invade Sicily. It is uh, the next thing on my agenda. Uh, just want to see what's going on with the Sicilians, see how, how strong they are. Um, not very is the answer. So before I get into that, I just want to say I really want to invade HRE and I really want to take Vienna right here. Um, it's going to happen before the end of the episode. Basically what I'm waiting for is a crusade to get called. And if a crusade gets called on anybody but me, I'm basically in the clear to invade the HRE, and if the Crusade does get called on me, then I need to fight off the Crusade. Now, there's also a possibility while I'm fighting the Crusade, a Jihad also gets called on me. Uh, we're hoping that doesn't happen, but it could. Um, so, so there's that possibility. Anyway, for now, we are just going to um, do our invasion, actually. I'm not going to use... I mean, I'm going to use mostly my own forces to launch this invasion of Sicily. So we're going to declare war, invade Sicily. Uh, we're going to try to hit all all of what's currently Sicily, including these two pieces of land. This is actually not part of Sicily. It's actually part of Apua or something like that. It's really odd. Um, so yeah, we're going to invade Sicily. We are going to raise up our personal forces, mainly because we have a butt ton of money. Uh, and so that... That means that we should use our personal forces. And I'll probably... I'm not going to use this random 116 dudes. Uh, I'll probably also raise up... Um, I might raise up someone who likes me, like Anatolian's forces or something like that. These are Lecce, which is like a province over here. Lecce is right here. Or Lecce. I don't know how exactly how you say it. But yeah, we'll get, uh, how many, well, how many forces can you give me? 85 ships, not enough. 384 ships, plenty. So yeah, we'll raise this up. I also, I mean, I don't like the fact that I have this huge force sitting here. So I'm going to use these 13,000 guys to take care of it. That's 15,000. Please get on the boats. We'll come pick these 3,000 up. It will be beautiful. Everybody's going to be happy about it. We basically just want to kill these 723 guys. And then there's 3,283 3, guys sieging, apparently, the Duchy of Sicily's piece of territory. Um, we want to make the High Chief happy, so let's do that. Okay, we got our 18,000 strong force. Please get on the boats. Then we'll come to here, and we'll unload into Bari. We're basically just going to start sieging up the coast. I do want to lower this this guy's forces um, after crushing this army. So the army will unload into Bari. I want to make sure I have good leaders. Uh, I don't want to use a siege leader right now. I am going to use him as soon as I start sieging stuff. Since he's awesome as hell. But... Uh, Okay, so we're going to start the march in. What is the force limit here? 15,000. What's the force limit there? 21,000. Good. So once we finish this, we should be able to... Uh, okay, so you won your battle. Lower your forces. Then I'll lower your navy, who I also have raised up. I probably will end up wanting to use that that force of Anatolia. Because, you know, two, two sieges are better than one siege. Um, so now what I want to do... God damn it. Somebody want I have an adventure. Can we execute this bitch? 62.9. The answer is no, I cannot. Not easily. What I do want to do, though, is uh, get rid of everybody else. Um, and just put the siege leader on this army now. 
Cool. And the reason we're doing this, in case you're unaware, is that uh, siege leaders or um, events in, battle, in sieges occur on characters. They do not occur on... I'm waiting for that to go down to zero on the Anatolia guy, and then I'm going to raise his forces again. Um, they don't occur on armies. So the fact that this army is sitting here, if there was no generals leading this army, we would no, have no events occur on that army. At least that's how it used to work, and I have no reason to suspect that it has changed. Um, awesome. Okay, we're going to raise the boats and the army. Boom. And we're going to bring the army down to Tara. Actually, I'm actually going to bring you up to Bari, because I know Bari has a smaller supply limit. So why not hit the, the place that we need to hit? We should be able to conquer all of Sicily on this episode. Sure, you can marry a random courtier. Um, I believe you've already converted this province. Yeah, can we get another province to convert? Awesome. Nice. Way to do your job. So you unload. You just raised up 48 dudes that are about to die. I apologize to them. I mean, it must be a, a crazy sight to be one of the, the brave 48 when 12,000 men come off the boat and just storm you and everything you believe in. You know what would be an interesting thing, by the way, which I wonder if they've ever thought about doing, but they should allow the Norse to get off their boats without any um, disembark penalty. Is that already a thing? I'm kind of curious. Are there any Norse left anywhere in the world no everybody's catholic that's too bad Wait, what are you you're lollard yeah that's too bad that'd be really cool be really cool anyway let's get back in on this since we want to take care of this quickly i'll have to look that up later someone's gonna be like yeah totally what are you talking about stop being stupid um, so it looks like the rebellion has ended, but the war against Denmark has not. In fact, the war is going in Sweden's favor. And sorry, it's not Denmark. It's Denmark. I apologize. Um, that reminds me, are there people I can sell? Are there people to be sold? Boom, there's one. No, I'm going to execute you. Boom. You're dead. Anybody else to sell? No, I got 19 prisoners and no one wants to buy. God damn it. Can you guys just stop? Stop all this shit. What was that goddamn faction that just popped up? Not a whole lot of, of regional support going on in these factions. Not losing a lot of money either, which is great. Um, the war must have just ended. What happened to that uh, holy war? Must have ended. Um, I really want to take this land from France too. Uh, it must have ended inconclusively. Those are the words I'm looking for. Yaroslav has now converted. I'm pretty sure that's not where I have this guy. No. Um, let's make the mayor happier, I think. These guys keep raising up forces. Oh, the Pelusians have triumphed over the Orthodox. Very interesting. I mean, I'm not surprised because we basically decimated the Orthodox faith uh, with our invasion of the Latin Empire. Um, wow, two cons are upset. King of Ruthania versus the King of Tarika. They're both crappy kingdoms. Which one likes me better? They actually both like me about the same. Um... I'm actually just going to say they both are acting like children this time. Two cons. Usually if there's an obvious choice here. God damn it. Can you guys stop fucking feuding? Um, okay, so he's 83. He's 50. So we want to give the one that's 50 our support. Boom. God, they're, they're fucking idiots though that everyone's like... Constantly fighting. Alright, so we're going to take Leke here in a second. In fact, ah, uh, damn it. I missed my opportunity to min-max 
So you resign. You get Mr. Lecke. So the min-max I could have done there was it was going to be less than one 12-day period anyway, so I should have immediately um, switched to the next one. So this one, unfortunately, if I get rid of him, it's still going to be... It's going to take two two periods, so... So that's just sucky, but it is what it is. Um, we want to put this guy back on. Cool. And yeah, we're just hoping that this war will end soon. They're still at war. It's going back towards Denmark's favor now. Wants to hire reference to build the peasants who are not paying their taxes. Um, sure, I don't really care if we get a slight risk in, uh, thing. I'll take the gold. Revolt risk is not a huge issue. God damn it, you actually have enough dudes to try to unsiege that. So again, the reason why we're sieging just the top level province is of course you get control of any province that, uh, that you have sieged, and it only needs to be the top level province to get full control of the, uh, of everything in there. So what we're really looking for are these two provinces, Ancona and Aprutium. Those are going to be critical provinces. We won't gain Messina here, almost certainly. Uh, these guys are going to beat us to the punch, so to speak. So we're going at 6.5%. They're going at 6.1%. So we will actually win this without difficulty. That's not a problem. We're 12 minutes in. We're going a little slow. So I'm going to actually up it to speed 4 with, with pausing. Um... Just to make sure that we get this taken care of. 6.5%. Good, there's been no shortage of soldiers. 6.5. So again, we're not going to be able to mid-max here. I just inherited uh, some land. Oh, I should tell you guys, I've inherited this land. Um, we'll see if it works the same way. But when I played this the first game, I started calling this the Cursed Territory. Because I would place somebody there and like four seconds later they would die again. Then I'd place somebody else there and then they'd freaking die again. Um... So that was, that was a thing. And it was kind of a, an annoying thing. All right, we'll come F these 3,000 dudes up. Even though they have the hills of fence. Crusade for Jerusalem, that is fantastic. We don't really care about the Crusade for Jerusalem. What makes it fantastic is it's not a crusade against us. It's not a crusade for Constantinople. And that means that we should have no problem um, we should have no problem. Are we the siege leader here? Yes. Um, surviving to the end of the game because it's 1413. They won't be able to declare another crusade until at least 1443. I think it's three years after the crusade ends, not when the crusade begins. Uh, but either way, it won't be a huge deal. We should have already won our war against the HRE by then. So, um, so yeah, that's something to consider. Our uh, sieges continue. We'll go up against uh, these guys next. The siege of Kane is over. Beautiful. You can resign. Um, I wish I had another siege leader, but I don't. I mean, I could look to possibly appoint a siege leader. Resign, resign, resign. I could put a, a organizer on there. Did I uh, try to kill this guy, by the way? Is there anybody that wants to join this plot? Not enough. So I'm just going to cancel this and then kill this guy when he declares his war. That's fine. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, see if I could recruit another siege leader. Can I usurp this title yet? Nope, you're still at war. Yep, it's now switch sides. It's too bad. Uh, let's keep this going. I'm going to go back to speed 3 just this for a second while I try to figure out... Um, while I try to figure out what I'm trying to do. What am I trying to do here? Uh, oh yeah, look for a new dude. 
I don't think there's anybody to make money from here. Are you... Do you have any money? You have 112 gold. Um... No, I'll just say the flesh is weak. Uh, what I want to do now... God damn it, brain. What am I trying to do? Oh, yeah. Hire new dudes. Minor titles. We're going to scroll all the way down. Um, you're the worst. I don't even know why you're you're here. You're, you're not anything special. God, we have a lot of organizers. There are no more siege leaders. That's too bad. Well, we'll put you in here. It's fine. Okay, we'll go back to speed four now, because we are we're running a little slow. Nice, Tver has converted. Um, so there's the guy's conquest of the Aegean Islands. You have not succeeded. We have a new Grand Mayor of Novgorod. God, this is one heavy heavy duty thing here. And you're going even slower, so that's actually really good for me. Oh, I'm back over my supply limit. Did, did, what did I just gain? Oh, apparently uh, whoever I put in charge here just died. Oh, and I forgot my grandson. I should be educating him. Um, search realm for a man, my religion, my culture, men, not a ruler. Boom. Congratulations, Burkhan. You are now the chief of Opal. Boom. And then I have a daughter... Educate her. Um, how about you? Boom. Oh, she might become Catholic. I'll take care of that in a second. Uh, and then you. I want to educate you. Educate child. You. Me. Boom. Because I want you to actually be good. Get okay, cool. I want to slow this down for just a second. Why do I have a thousand guys up here? Oh, because I inherited them from Opal. Uh, that's fine. You guys can go home. Alright, cool. Awesome. And then, my, it was my like granddaughter or my daughter that... You... I want you... I'm not at peace, so I can't demand a religious conversion. Damn it. So close. So close, yet so far. We haven't seen the adventure yet. No, no sign of the adventure. I'm assuming he will eventually show up. I'm just going to pay for it. Beautiful. I've increased my stewardship and I have a plus one grasp on stewardship. Uh, after I siege this, I'm going to crush this army and then go up to take these ones. I should have enough territory to easily um, distribute this amongst the you know the masses so that should happen god damn it it's like the rng is all confused because i keep getting the exact same things over and over again Do you have another four thousand dudes three thousand dudes there come on we're actually gaining money but i think it's only because we're in the may april time frame okay 4.3. So now what we're gonna we are gonna min max now. And the reason we're min maxing now is because uh because this is low enough that no matter what we get, we would have enough to, to actually take it this turn. Boon, Salerno. So we're gonna walk down and crush this army, and then we're gonna go up to um None of these are a good place to go, but that's too bad. So you're coming down here. You're going to get there on the 9th of July. I should have gone already, but that's okay. We're going to go up to Ancoma. We're going back to speed four. Back, back to speed four. Oh, I'm depressed, so now I can murder myself at any time. That is the only advantage to being depressed, if you're wondering. Yep, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, I died? Are you fucking kidding me? Dying right now is literally the worst time I could have died. The reason it's really bad is because I am fucking six. Um... 
I'm not an adult, so I can't get a, a dude. I need an educator. My regent is a fucking idiot. God damn it. Why did I have to fucking die? Right then, of all places. No, educate me. At least find somebody good. Content sucks. Just as good. Okay, what about diplomacy? I really want to be Midas Touch, though. Are you Midas Touch? I can't even see. No. I actually want to, like, see you. View your character. I'm not going to be able to finish the war on this. This is really fucking annoying. Alright, let's try this again. Educate child. Me. God damn. Now, I want to click on this goddamn dude. Why can I not goddamn open your goddamn character? This is this is freaking annoying. Yeah, give me a wife. Educate child. Me. All I want to do is know if your goddamn might is touched. So freaking annoying. You're not Midas Touch. I can see you have this one. Um, which means that I should at least go for this guy. Alright. God, that was fucking annoying. I'm way over my domain limit. Um, I'm going to end the episode here, even though I should be able to have, you know, do this. Because I have to get rid of most of my territories. Which, of course, will make... Right now, we're going to lose people. Oh, I'm so pissed off at this right now. All right, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.